special light back there if you walk in front of it it'll just come on or walk by it Another cup of coffee again. That was weird. Because I was standing right here, and the light's coming through the window. And it looked like somebody, like, blacked out the light from the window. And so I walked, stood over there, and when a car went by, and it lit, I lit it all up, but it didn't do what I saw. Yeah, I, I don't think it was. Because it looked like something walking over there. Yeah, like over there where that... Yeah, but it's not a car because, I mean, yeah. this is a car going by now, and it makes it brighter, but that, like... It looks like okay, there's stuff right in front of you right here. Okay, okay I'll step over way. it. Well, there's a case there. Okay. Yeah. 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 See, there's a car. See, that's a car. Well, they were brighter, and then it would go away, and then it would get brighter again. Uh huh. And then it looked like at one point that something was walking in front of the light. That's weird. I I mean, I was looking at it with the camera, but I don't know if I would have saw it or not. Please. If you knock me over. Is that whole still? Yeah.
Yeah. Go back. Somebody in front of me? Mm. No. I knew. Did you not hear that right in front of me? What'd you hear? What? Like what? somebody walked right in front of me. Like that? Yeah. But it was it, it was kind of like that, but it was in front of me. I heard that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, like I heard it. Yeah, I kept looking back there when we were doing the. What's the matter? That light scared. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Chris was gonna jump on me. I did too. I didn't want to Person right there. Yeah. Is it a window? I don't know. I can't really see. I, I don't see. What, <coughs> no, there's no window. No, it's a brick wall right there. That's the stairway going up to the service quarter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's freezing right here. I know. Like, it's really cold. Stuff in the window. Is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Me and Jen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd come back here. <laughs> For the very first time, I got, I wouldn't say scared, but I just was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Because you know, it was about two, between 2.30 and 3 in the morning, and it was me and Mark and Beth and Anthony, and we were walking on one of the top floors, I don't remember which one, and we started seeing shadow people at the end of the hall, and I actually saw one peek out the door, and go, I just saw somebody peek out that door, a doorway down there, and then Mark said, oh, I just saw one, was it on the right-hand side, blah, 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 and I was like, yep, exactly, <laughs> and then it was like they were walking towards us, and then we just got a feeling, well, I got, we were talking about it, and we all got a feeling like we were being surrounded, and like, um, we were being watched, and like the feeling of dread, mm -hmm. Yeah, we were kind of all huddled together. Yeah, when we, when we went to the Central City thing, so down in the, uh, we saw show people going down the hole. And I'll tell you what, that thing, that place to me was more scary that there could, that there could be uh, physical people in there hiding. So every every room you went past, she was like, yeah. you know what I mean? He was making sure, and we had police officers with us with guns. When we went in that place, and that place was freaking scary. Where, where was it? Central State and Santa Fe. Uh -huh. That place was freaky because it was like a big hospital that just people just got up and left. I mean, there was still stuff in there. That's weird. It was whacked out. I freaking it looked like it, it looked like a place that you would just stare down through the hall and all of a sudden see Jason standing down there waiting to do something. Yeah. That's just how freaking jacked up that place was. We was in one place 
and we uh, saw a shadow person come down the hall, and all of a sudden, <laughs> me and Micah, Al's uh, son, we took off after it. Because I'm like, everybody stop, don't move, because I thought somebody behind me was moving. I want to make sure. So it went down to the end and then teed and turned right. So me and Micah took off real fast and went down there just to make sure there was no physical person down there. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't. So on the way back past, we walked past the room and we said, all right, let's do an EVP in here. So we stopped and they had a little dome in the corner of that room where they had a camera that would mm -hmm. film in the person that was in that room. Mm -hmm. So they had a, there was a bed in there with no mattress but just box spring. Mm -hmm. So Mike was like, all right, I'm going to lay on the bed now and do an experiment. Looks like somebody was sitting there. So all of a sudden he started putting his earbuds in and recording all of a sudden I seen him go. And he flinched like that while he was recording. And a little bit later on, we stopped and we, he started running. He was listening to me. And as we were sitting there talking, he, uh, we were asking questions. All of a sudden, you hear somebody say, Help. Like that, right on the recording. Oh, wow. And in one of the recordings, you hear like little kids, like if you're laughing as you're running, and it gets, they run right, it's laughing as they get quiet and then loud and quiet, like they ran right past. And we went down to the death tunnels, and one of the people down there, one of the police officers, like, hell no, I ain't going down there. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, so we went down there, and it was pitch black down there because it was in the very bottom of the yeah. hospital and you kept hearing something crashing in front of us to the point that one of the guys were like if you're a physical person i have a gun and i'm going to shoot you but if you don't stop moving around and finally to the point where he was like you know what guys i don't see any space to be down here let's get out of here so we ended up leaving <laughs> but something kept moving in front of us well, I don't think those guys were tagged in it, but, um, you can hear it very clearly. We were down in this death tunnel at Waverly. Yeah. I don't like that part. This first one, we had just got down there and we kind of separated, like, six steps apart mm -hmm. down the tunnel, and I was towards the end. And you hear mm -hmm. a male go, oh, what? like that. Hey, Christy. Chris. Mm -hmm. They're not on? Mm -mm. No, they are. Oh, where's the... I asked the you if they were on. They were. Where's the ghost box? You got the speaker. I can put the speaker on it. They were on. When you ask me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had just spread apart and separated in here. A male voice out, a male go, oh. it's kind of far away, but you can hear it. Wait a minute, here it is. You hear it? Yeah. And then four seconds later, it goes, stop. So. This is weird. Did you just catch that? No, it was no, that I Waverly. No, I caught that at Waverly. Oh. It's a recording. And then... Wow. Oh, oh, no, that was a different one. Too. And this one, I swear to God, it sounds like call the FBI. I can hear it. Call the FBI. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I thought I heard beat out. The first one was, was. said, be gone, bitch. <laughs> and then this was a cough. Mm. Yeah. That wasn't anyone that mm -hmm. was, oh, my. No, because Mark made it clear. Like, Mark was going around and coughing and stuff, but he said it before. Yeah. He was like, oh, I got tuberculosis. <coughs> yeah, but that wasn't him. But, yeah, that wasn't him. Um, this one says, he's afraid or she's afraid. <laughs> oh. I didn't hear that one at all. I didn't hear anything. I'm going to use this. Still need to take her with the earbuds. Yeah, the... Ah, I stopped one when she let me hear it on her recorder. It was like... Like you knew what it said and you heard... Ah, oh, stop! It's in mine. I'm like gonna get like sucked down in this basement. Oh my god! Where was that at? Where was that? Anthony and I both heard that one. Get call the police! Yeah, they put a big like one of those big jugs of vodka in his passenger 
seat and then walked around. Was he side. stumbling? Yeah. Stumbled yeah, around. He saw, when he got to the other side, he I was like, maybe he's just old. And then he goes, he went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both Jim and I were like, okay, yeah. Go call you the can police. ask them. They're outside too. He's just sitting in a vehicle. No, nope, there he goes. Uh, yeah, there I he got goes. you on camera, man. He, he just got in his car. This guy in this car right here apparently stumbled over to his car and put a fifth of vodka in the he passenger seat. Oh my gosh. I thought he was back into the car. He has one of those huge glass bottles of vodka. What? Put in his passenger seat. Uh, oh, I am recording him. Oh, he's turn signal's coming out. Yeah, he's coming out of the driveway. He's being over-cautious. He's turning. He's already got a turn signal on. He's going to go back in towards town. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's oh, doing. Yeah. He's going right to the liquor store. <laughs> There's one down there. Yeah, he should have went to the one over that way. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> cops coming out here. Hmm? There's a cop yeah. coming out in there. Oh. Are you about ready, Mom? Let's go. Well, I mean, we'll probably stay until you leave. Right. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I'm going to grab your jacket. Alright. You can wear it. I'll be alright. You're gonna watch this video and you're gonna see everything that happened. Yeah, I came out of the house and got in that white Chevette that was sitting there. Yeah, and the better is you. Does anybody even live in there? It's like I've not seen any lights or anything all night. It looks like there's a TV on the front room. <laughs> that 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 guy that car's been there since I mean I was a little kid. I got him on camera. <coughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, me too. Huh? Have you seen where the cop gives the guy a breathalyzer and he tries to drink it? Oh, yeah. The old man? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I have. It's hilarious. This is freaking. Where's my phone at? Oh, my God. Rick. Rick. What? Wasn't that a week ago last night that guy came out? <laughs> He's just yeah. like, the cop is cracking up. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're going to jail. The cop is just cracking up when he does it. <laughs> what you doing? Trying, trying to drink the breathalyzer. Like the cop's like, I can't even. <laughs> He's so drunk. Turd. <laughs> so it's been blown it. He's trying to take a drink. With so that little boy literally just stumbled out to his car, threw that vodka in there, and got off and drove away. He drove decent, though. I mean, he didn't even. I, I had a, a, a friend of mine's dad the same way. Yeah, he used his turn signal. Yeah, he's trying to drink it. He drove decent. Yeah, he did. 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 Y
I drove I, I drove a block and a half because I wanted to see how it was once and I stopped and I felt like I was going 100 miles an hour and I never broke five. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. I'm done. Because <laughs> I asked my buddy, I was like, man, can I just see what it's like? Just once. I just want to try it. He's like, I guess. And so I tried, I literally just two blocks and I felt like I drove forever in like 100 miles an hour. Oh, there's gonna be a bunch of black. There's gonna be a bunch of black. Be careful. I asked her if it was on. She told me it was. It's her fault. It was on. I saw the red light. What? That car stopped with that thing and almost ran the red light, and they had to back up to get where they're supposed to be. Doesn't matter what you think. Same thing. What? About the camera. Oh. It may have been a point when me and her were talking about things. Um, I forgot the camera's on. Forgot I even had it. So, just letting you know. <laughs> And I've dropped the F bomb twice. And I was like, ooh, every time I did it. <laughs> Y'all drive safe. Watch for drunks. Yeah, watch for white Chevettes. <laughs> It is Saturday night. When are you picking him up? Yeah, after cause he was gonna stay, but he texted me and said he, he said I need to leave or I need to go home. He's like, you okay? He never answered me, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, now look, look above the door, but see the brickwork up there? See how they angle? See how they used to angle it? Somebody, I don't know. I don't. I'm wondering if maybe they. Um, well, go to wind me the water in. and I'll get him up there for him to do it. He's out by in that area. I'm ready. Ready? Hey, hello! Okay. I thought it was that one girl leaving. Ready, Willie, and Ava. See y'all! Bye. Bye. Bye, be careful! That camera and those recorders are both still rolling, so... Yeah, we got like a five minute drive home. Yeah. That stoplight right there, you go straight down. We live... We live... We live like a mile away from where the uh, drive-in used to be, out on 17. It's not too bad. It's quiet. Wow. Now, yeah. on the other side or this side? Are they opening the drive-in uh -huh. this year no. or not? No. no. It's yeah, that that. Yeah, there's a guy that lives out there in a uh, mobile home, and he tears. I mean, he tears that place up. There's, there's cars over there flipped over and stuff. Looks like he put, does demolition derbies out in there. That would be awesome. It would be awesome, but... <laughs> I remember that old drive-in. My parents taking me in that drive-in. Yeah, that's when... I remember you t guys yeah. taking me there. Magic Mike. <laughs> Magic Mike in the drive-in. I saw his butt on big screen. Wow. <laughs> so did I. On the big, big, big screen. Yeah.
Both Yara and love that movie, and I've seen it like a hundred billion different times. There's another one. Why did you tell her that? Oh, Back to the Future? Back to the Future? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm not well, going to put it on. I got this on. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah. Well, if you're going to sell something out like that, you're going to bring it back again. Alright. I was like, what is he doing? Does that tell you how bad our kids are? Well, yep. <laughs> Best invention ever. Most of the time. Global positioning di system, yeah. Or a satellite, depends on how you feel like looking at it. Downstairs and get the video camera in. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I put that there, so, uh, just in case somebody decided to push it and such. So I checked this battery right before we went outside, and it was, like, not dead, and now it's dead, so. Right before we went outside this time? Yeah. Wasn't that, like, right before we did that gift box? Yeah. And it, it was good. Yeah. In the attic. Oh, what? my K2 might be on the floor. No, we have two recorders up there. Yeah, there's a recorder up in the... Here, I'll come get it. Yeah, you might want to get both of them. Yeah. I'll get them. I'm definitely going to have to get the one in the fucking attic. Freaking attic. Sorry, camera. Yeah, I got chewed out the last time. <laughs> Uh, we had to go back behind the house to the apartment. Apartment. Uh huh. Oh, Walnut. Whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got my ass ripped. I can't do that anymore. What did you do? Well, you know I did. Yeah. She record recorded it. <laughs> 